to swap off to Priest Rally, we don't have much CC. Like this, I don't know why this comp is a thing. We have no CC. So if anything, just train the event. You just... Okay. I'm gonna spare... Spare Priest. Yeah. Yeah, just go Priest Rally. Yeah. I'm fucking everything. Um, Cyclone. Fifteen hundred players. That's the spell. Yo, you're taking damage. I know. I can't do anything about it. I bubble too. Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Rhythm. Today's video is gonna be a short clip over one arena match to kind of show you guys when a good opportunity to switch is on a rogue. I would have made a longer video, but I was super busy today and I wanted to get you guys your daily video either way. So I get a lot of questions on different things, but one of them is when to switch. Knowing when to switch can make or break a game, especially if you do it at the perfect time. Now the perfect time is when the switch target has no idea you're switching and has almost no time to react to it. In this clip, we killed the priest in a stun and his paladin could have bopped him or the druid could have cycloned us, but it's an example to show you switches. Also keep in mind you won't hear my voice in this clip because once again, my audio was not saved. So before we started the match, we communicated that we wanted to possibly make a hard switch on the priest after we got his trinket. So my first priority is just stacking bleeds and poisons on the rat and boomkin when he shows for the time being. We act like we're going to go hard on the boomkin, but in reality, we're just keeping up the pressure. At this point, Amario calls out that we should just train the healer. So if anything, just train the healer. So I ask him to fear the priest so that we can possibly buy out his trinket. So Mario goes for the fear, and sure enough, the priest trinkets. I then immediately vanish, and I sprint over to the priest, starting on him with a garrote for the silence, and I start stacking my bleeds. I get a quick 5 point rupture, and then after 2 more mutilates it puts me at another 5 combo points for a kidney shot. I also at this point cloak of shadows early just so that I don't get peeled or cc'd while trying to burst. Pay close attention to the priest as he has no heals and not even a bubble on himself at this point. So now that he has no trinket, no bubble, and he's in a full kidney shot, he's in a lot of trouble. I then pop Vendetta, Exang, and I begin to spam Mutilates into him with Envenoms, and he eventually goes down. Like I said, at this point, his team could have saved him, but they screwed up. Either way, this is a prime example of when and how you should switch when playing a rogue. Keep in mind, typically when playing rogue teams, you have the most potential to make immediate switches, so use it to your advantage. So long as you communicate it with your team, you can kill somebody in a kidney shot if you do it correctly. So that's going to be it for today's video guys. So if the video helped you guys out in any way, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button guys so I know and because I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.